This is Outdated, and welcome to the 26th episode of Let's Play Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. This one is entitled Black Hat Badger. We had received a hint earlier about a character named the Black Hat Badger. Whenever we had to take on the rats for the Tengu of Ashina. And this is where we're finally going to meet him. Now, we have been exploring up here for a while, but I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go this way. And I was right, you do survive. So let's get out of the water. Can we open this? No. But that's a shortcut for sure. What's through here? A couple I got. Oh, there's a sculptor's idol right there. Alright, Makiri Camper, baby. Oh! Not quite! Okay, I totally screwed that up. My timing was completely off. Wrong item. Come on. Switch back. There we go. So what I should have done here was just rested at the idol. But instead, I got myself killed. Thankfully, I had my res. And so, if I were smart, I'd let him walk away. And then I would rest at the idol. But, notice I said, if I were smart. And I died, and I didn't get to the idol. So, I wasn't, uh, there was an issue with the clip whenever I actually ran back and did that again. Um, but I just ran past him and got to the idol, and here we are. So there's a whole area down here to explore. So let's see what we can find. But in addition to that whole area, there's a building down there with a hole in the roof. That is of particular interest. You also see some treasures and stuff down there. A lot of them. Look at that. Here's one right here. What is this? A gotcha and sugar. Nice. Let's see what we can find. Oh, what is that? Oh, God. Some solid. Oh, Lord. Is it one of those cannon guys? Oh, you know what? We're just going to head back over here. That's fine. We'll grab all over here. Cannon guy's already lost interest. Now, if I go this side, what will I find? Well, you know what? Hmm. I think I can survive that drop. Yes! Whoa. Who are you? Oops. <sighs> Told those morons to give it a rest. But they don't. They just keep sending more. Such a pain in my head. Huh? You one of them Nightjar cronies? No. Ah, of course not. There's something different about you. But I'd say you're in the same line of work. The name's Black Hat Badger. What's yours? Real sociable one, aren't we? First this stubborn lot, now a down in the dumb shinobi, and then those Ashina boys raising hell outside. Could this day get any better? You're a fugitive. Something like that, sure. By the by, I'm a little out of pocket these days. Got the goods, but no one to sell them to. Been waiting for someone like you to show up. Okay, what do you have? A Yeshina Sugar Bite Down Iron Fortress and a anti-air death blow. Alright, I think those last two now, are important. If you ask me, this iron ribbed fan has your name written all over it. With this, you won't pay arrows or bullets no heed. You never know. It might even hold against cannon fire. Okay. Well I'll be here. Come back anytime. All right, I think I'm going to try to explore this area, try to grind out some money and buy some of this stuff because he seems like he has some good things to buy. Let's see what I have as far as bags of gold. A bulging purse, that's a thousand all by itself. Oh yeah. Is that enough to buy one of these? Let's see. <laughs> Got client all over... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
No, not enough. So long. But I have more purses, more coin purses in here. This feels like a good time to use them to at least get something. Heavy. Looks like I have two. I don't think I have enough money to get both of those things he has. But I definitely, definitely want that um, iron fan. I think that is a um, Shinobi prosthetic tool. There we go. Now, let's see if I have enough. Oh, well, we need something. Yes. Iron Fortress. Thank you very much. I'll have to go back so and get that installed. But for now, let's explore and see what I can find. Anything hiding over here? Nope. What about over here? More nope. Let's see. <clears throat> Alright, there's another cannon guy on top of that little tower. So, let's make a plan. Let's go around this way instead. Oh, there's a spear guy. And I'm willing to bet the tower guy, the cannon guy, might be able to see there. Oh, hey, treasure. There's a couple of those little guys that he apparently took care of. Let's see, can I get to that? Let's try it. Yes. Oh, God. Not the plan. Okay. So he's up here. And he's going to be the issue. I can't seem to get up. Oh, hey, there's a guy. I need to take him out. But I really need to take this guy out up here. Because that cannon will become a major problem. There's the grapple. Now let's just take him down. Gotcha. Thank you. Now I should be able to take these two guys down relatively easily. Let's see. Looking to see if there's anybody else who can see me. Doesn't look like it. There he is, uh, waiting for that spear guy up there to turn around. So let's take this guy out. This guy with a rifle that's... Ah, gotcha. Looking over an area that nobody could even go to. Let's sneak up behind this guy. Never see me coming. Night, night. This doesn't... This might not be too bad of a farm spot if you want to deal with the cannon boy. Then I'm not getting a ton of XP from them, though. All right, I did get all the treasure, I think. All right, let's see. I could grapple up there, grapple up there. I feel like there's more here somewhere. Oh, something just saw me. Might as well grab this item. Black gunpowder, thank you. He lost interest wherever he is. Is he above me? Okay, there's that guy that was patrols. Spear guy, let's take him out. Gotcha. Oh crap, it's Pot and Pan Dude. Didn't know he was even here. Alright, Pot and Pan Dude, take this. 
Oh crap, another another cannon guy. Gotcha and sugar. Light coin purse. Fistful of ash. Sand shard. Something shooting at me from somewhere. I can't get up to Black Hat Badger's spot. What's over here? Oh hey! You were the one that saw me earlier. Yeah, that's what you get for working too hard. Okay. Where is that cannon? Ah, I forgot the treasure up there. Dumb. I have to come back for it later. Okay. There he is. There's Cannon Boy. We're gonna have to take him out. Did I get all the treasure here? Looks like. Let's go around this side. See if I can climb up there. Double, what, double jump? No, oh, come on, double, no, okay. Didn't quite work. Can we sneak up here and him not hey, see me? you didn't see a little scoundrel come running through here, did you? We're after one and I'm barely sure he came this way. Hmm, what was he wearing? Get a black hat on, short little guy. Hmm, thing is nobody's passed this way at all. The only thing that did look like some kind of animal. A raccoon, maybe a badger, couldn't say for sure. You sure you didn't mistake that animal for your criminal? Oh, come on! Ah, forget it. <laughs> nice black hat badger reference there. Also, the I don't know how I feel about the acting, but you know we're gonna live with that and move on. So there's these two guys over here. I think they're both riflemen. And then up on top of this tower, I think is another cannonball guy. So I need to stay where he can't see me. If I can find a way to get behind him. Like, right here maybe? I can't tell. Nope. But that is him. Oh crap, somebody might... Thought that guy was about to see me. Can't get to him there either. I really need to go back and get that treasure. No way to get him th there. I think I'm going to have to grapple up here. Let's just make sure there's nothing up here. The scenery in this game is really good. Oh, there's the sculptor's idol. It's the one I came from. It's not a new one. This seems to be a little self-contained area. I'm not really sure what its point is. Ooh, there's a grapple right to him. Gotcha. Oops. Ooh, I thought I was screwed. Okay. Now I can drop assassinate one of these idiots and then take out the other one. Hmm. Yeah, let's just... That's what you get for messing with my buddy Black Hat Badger. Calling him an animal like a well badger. Ugh. Got you both. Hope you don't mind being dead. Alright. So I think I've cleared this area. Now let's see. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. There were originally a lot of trick. Can I get back up there? Yes! I can go and grab my treasure. And ungo sugar. Love how you, you know, as you go, you actually can see across the valley places you've been. Hey, Black Hat Man, what's up? How are we doing on money? Not very well. 194. And... Abby Corn Purse will get me 500 more. I don't think I have enough to buy that other thing. Let's just go back. I think I've cleared this area out. So we're just going to warp back to Sculptor's Idol. I think Black Hat Badger and I are going to be good pals. Okay.
So what do we have here? So there's the spear guy again. The one that I totally butchered the McCary counter on earlier. And there's another dude in there with him. If I can sneak up on the... Oh crap, that didn't work the way I planned. He hasn't noticed yet? Spear guy, man, you suck. Are you deaf? Come on. Come on out here. I don't want Spear Guy to notice me, even though he seems to be the most oblivious mob in the history of gaming. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for your kind consideration. Alright, now we should easily be able to stealth kill this guy. Stealth kill! Gotcha. What do we have over here? Dudes, there. Let's see. Let me decide what I want to do from here because I still need to go back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I can, I'm gonna be easy to go check that area out in a minute. But if I that fortress thing, I think that is a shinobi tool. I would like to get that installed. I've been using the same shinobi tools for a while and. I mean, they all seem to have good situa like situational use, and I have noticed certain bosses and mini bosses are weak to certain shinobi tools. Example: that the big boss I fought, definitely the firecracker, the bull, the firecracker, um, the flame vents, definitely the thing for the chained ogre. Right, here we go. This was a different playthrough. I had stopped there, but let's go ahead and head on in. You need something. Yeah, of course. Here's my fake arm. Yep, the loaded umbrella. Basically, it's a shield. And now I could actually do some upgrades. Of course, I don't have enough money to do most of these upgrades or supplies to do any of these upgrades mostly but nonetheless I'll find them I'll get them that one I just need money the gouging top shurikens I have the scrap iron I just need the sen to pay for it so it looks like they do more damage Another time, then. Oh. Okay. Let's see, how much do I have here? Do I have enough that I can go ahead and get that upgrade? Because that could come in handy. With a heavy purse? I think that'll do it. You need? Yep, upgrade me, baby. There you are. Thank you very much. Yes. Sin throw, so I can actually get a upgrade where I can throw money at my enemies. Another time, then I'll lend you shelter any time. It was a pleasure, sir, sir sculptor. Okay, sorry, Emma, but I don't think I have any gourd seeds for you. And let's face it, you're just gonna tell me about the outbreak of Dragon Rot Nashina again. All right. I don't think I'm far enough along for you to say anything else. So let's head back to the Lost Graves, I guess. Or, yeah. Let's see what else we can find. So I think that fortress thing will help a lot. And once if I can learn how to use it, it may help me block some attacks. It may allow me to have a little bit of shield and my dark, a little bit of Dark Souls in my Sekiro. Although the deflection thing is a much more important mechanic, obviously. Okay, what do we have over here? I think I've actually walked over here before, but it's a grave and the basically a dead end. Okay. This just feels like a place that it's gonna. It's this is gonna matter eventually, 
It really will. I can tell. I'll have to come back here for something. Let's grapple back over here to save some time. Yeah. Okay, do I want to farm through here again? Because I can use the money to, oops, to get those upgrades. Let's see. Okay, cannonball guys there. I feel like there is an area in here I did not explore completely. Oh crap. I guess he's giving me an explosive welcome. So annoying. Alright, let's see. And they've lost interest. Do I want to go through this area again for farming purposes? There was a spot that I've, where the broken bridge is that I felt like I didn't really explore. Can I get up there and grapple over? Sure can. That is a big building over there on the other side. Let's see. Gotta be honest, this guy's the only guy I'm really worried about. These two cannon guys. And when I faced that, when I saw that one earlier, I mean, they're reasonably tough, like, physically, if you get in their face. And they definitely... Oops. That was not the plan. Okay, how do I grab... Yes. Got it. You gotta stealth kill these guys. They're too much of a pain. And I am so close to getting another skill point. I'm tempted just to clear these guys out and I'll probably get it. Let's see. Problem is, I know there's a guy that patrols up and down the steps. That's weird. Why does it show him jumping like that? There, there he is. I don't know if it was a performance issue or what. Okay, he seems to stop there. And then turns around. This is the perfect time to go after these two freaks. There we go. With surgical precision. Oh crap, that spear guy. He did come back up here. The carry counter. Yeah, baby. That's better. Okay. That was fun. So I think I'm gonna... Yeah, go down this. If I'm not mistaken, there's a pot and pan guy down here somewhere. Where's pot and pan guy? There's cannonball, dude. I don't want him to see me. Oh, crap. Really? saw me. Let's drop down here. Oops. Alright, let's stay right here till they lose interest in Diagro. Boom. Good thing this isn't Battlefield. It would actually destroy the building I'm on. And they have lost interest. This is what I didn't get to explore very much of. There might be a little something hiding over here. Let's go around. Any treasure? No. No. I already know what's up there. Any treasure over here? No, that would have been a good place to hide some, though. Aha! Here we go. Now I can just shimmy over here. Can I get closer? Is it letting me go around the corner? It is not. It isn't a straight corner. I can't go across. Darn it. Let's just grapple up here.
All I did is to come here to get a few skill points and to make sure I didn't miss any treasure. And you guys gotta like shoot me and stuff. Seriously. It's not like I'm your enemy and I've been killing you this whole time. Oh wait. Okay, he's back to staring and off into space. So let's take him out. Surprise. And is that... No, not my skill point yet, but we're getting there. Let's head back over here. Oop. Okay, I know where that is. That's uh, That other side's where that general was. Yeah, where if I were to go around, I would eventually get to where the headless is located, which I will show you at some point. Okay, can I... Oh, come on. Double jump. It took a while to get the hang of the double jump. What it boils down to is you have to be up against the wall, and your feet have to have touched the wall, and then you push off on the wall to jump again. Man, let's try this again. Let's see if I can sneak over here. Oh yeah, we got this. We're gonna take this guy out. No soup for you. And grab up here. No soup for you. Seinfeld reference. We're close. No soup for you. We're close. Unfortunately, I think I've cleared everything out here again. Maybe that isn't going to be enough, apparently, to get my skill point I need. But this, I was kind of farming, but I was also almost sure I missed something through here, and I wanted to make sure. Wait a minute. What's this branch here, bro? Did I miss this? Does it lead somewhere? Oh, it's just a grapple point to get me from one place to another, it looks like. Oh, I, for <laughs> I forgot about you. Yeah, I'll let everybody know I'm here. Go ahead, tell them. Oh, wait, they're dead. Kind of like you. That's why pots and pans belong in the kitchen. All right. Uh, can I jump to that? Uh, no, but I can look like an idiot jumping up and down. All right, let's just head back up here. Excuse me. Excuse me, dead dudes. Just checking, make sure there's nothing hiding over here. Nope. But this looks like a good place to stop. So, um, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I look forward to seeing you next time. Please like and subscribe, and we're going to continue to make our way through this game. We're making our way up Ashina Castle soon, and there'll be a huge boss fight waiting for us. So, have a good one. Peace. Out.